Welcome back into WHKY TV News on this Monday evening. Rob Eastwood in for Jason Savage with WHKY Sports. Catawba Valley Community College baseball split a doubleheader with Brunswick Community College Saturday, winning game 1-5-4 but falling 5-0 in the nightcap in a rain-shortened game Sunday, CVCC 1-5-4. The Red Hawks improved to 30-11 overall and 12-4 in Region 10 play. The CVCC baseball team returns to action Wednesday for a non-conference home doubleheader against Spartanburg Methodist at Henkel Alley Field. The number 11 Lenorine softball team swept Carson Newman 3-1 and 7-5 to claim the South Atlantic Conference regular season championship outright. That was Saturday afternoon on the road. LR also ran its winning streak to 14 consecutive games and they are 40-5 overall. 17 and 1 in conference play. The Bears host Newberry in the regular season finale for a South Atlantic Conference doubleheader Wednesday at 3 o'clock at Bears Field. Lenore Ryan baseball dropped two of the three weekend games against Carson Newman as they lost Friday 7-5 and split a doubleheader Saturday winning game 1-8-5 but dropping the nightcap 5-0. LR is 26-18 overall, 12-12 in the South Atlantic Conference. Lenore Ryan returns to the field Tuesday against Limestone on the road. The LR women's lacrosse team fell to fourth ranked Florida Southern 17-5. The Bears are 7-8 overall, but will take their perfect 7-0 conference record up against Coker at home Wednesday. The Lenore Ryan men's lacrosse team ranked number three in NCAA Division II claimed at least a share of its third straight South Atlantic Conference regular season championship with a 14-6 triumph over Mars Hill Saturday afternoon on the road. The Bears are 14-1 overall, 7-0 in the conference. Lenore Ryan will look to wrap up its third consecutive South Atlantic Conference regular season championship outright Saturday, April 21st at 2 p.m. when the Bears host Coker for Senior Day. Appalachian State baseball was swept by Louisiana at home this weekend with a 4-3 loss Friday. They got swept in a doubleheader Saturday, 5-4 and 6-2. The losses drop up to 8-26 overall and 1-14 in Sunbelt Conference action. They're scheduled to host North Carolina Central tomorrow at 5 p.m. Appalachian State women's tennis suffered a 5-2 decision to ETSU in concluding the regular season on the road Saturday afternoon. The Mountaineers are 10-10 on the season. App State will await its Sunbelt Tournament opponent, which will take place in Peachtree City, Georgia this week. Appalachian State men's tennis captured a thrilling 4-3 triumph over Davidson Saturday afternoon on the road. App is 11-10 on the season. ASU will await its opponent for the Sun Belt Conference Tournament, which will take place April 18th through the 22nd in Peachtree City, Georgia. The Hickory Crawdads fell to the West Virginia Power 6-4 Friday night and lost a wild 15-11 contest Saturday, giving up seven runs in the ninth inning. Yesterday's game was postponed due to rain. The Crawdads are 1-8 on the season. They host Lexington through Wednesday at LP Fran Stadium. That's sports. I'm Rob Eastwood in for Jason Savage. Ralph is back next to wrap up WHKY-TV News for this Monday.